everybody have done their videos on Big Jut, so now it's time for me to do mine. First off, I just want to say that I'm deeply sad about what happened to Big Jut. I feel like it shouldn't have even got to that. But at the same time, I feel like karma does what it does. And when you do things, the people think you come back. I'm not saying that he did anything, allegedly, but people have been talking, so. Man, it was so many police cars, so many helicopters, snipers on the roof, at this funeral. You would have thought, gotta get the whole government of the United States out there for their funeral. Snipers, helicopters, and a massive police presence, all for the funeral of Yo Gotti's big brother, Big Juke. That's what people saw in Hickory Hill today outside of New Direction Christian Church. Now, you remember that Big Jook was killed just outside of a funeral service earlier this month. That's why MPD wanted to be prepared. They told us they put so much manpower in purpose there today. Fox 13's Walter Murphy was in Hickory Hill. He joins us live. Mark, Walter, it wasn't just MPD. There was private security there working the funeral as well, you found out. Yeah, that's right, Daryl. There were private security officers there too, but the scene was so big that people that I talked to thought that it was just a large crime scene. And there is one other thing that I want to bring up. Where is Jeremy Pierre? Why hasn't he been covering this CMG situation? From the big jug killing to the funeral. You haven't seen Jeremy Pierre anywhere. Is something going on? Is he included in one of those indictments? Allegedly? I don't know. But that's awfully funny that we ain't heard from Jeremy Pierre. Now, I want to get straight to that video from this afternoon. You could see there were dozens of Memphis Police Department squad cars in parking lots for blocks. There were even snipers on the church where the funeral was taking place. There was even a helicopter casing the church from the sky. Now, it was all out of an abundance of caution. That's according to the Memphis Police Department, who told Fox 13 that the high profile nature of the funeral and the high profile way that Big Jug lost his life earlier this month when he was leaving a funeral himself warranted all of this. And it's something that Greta Williams, who lives nearby, agreed with. Tell me that's someone's family member at the end of the day regardless of fame or money so it's just like your brother or mine so any loss is a loss i would say they were probably just trying to look out for everybody's well-being in the area it's a high crime area so um i think they did the right thing now i was told that all of those memphis police department officers were actually from the precinct they do patrol hickory hill on a regular basis they didn't take any officers from other neighborhoods, and the investigation into Big Jook's death is still underway. Here is an inside look of how the funeral for Big Jook was. They decorated it pretty good. They said celebrities were in the building. I don't know who. I'm not sure if Angela Simmons came or if he told her to fall back. If you look at her Instagram, she hasn't been on there in quite a while. So I'm guessing God had told her to stay on the internet for her safety. Or her family told her not to get on the internet and stop posting your whereabouts. The service was in New Direction Church on the corner of Winchester and Hickory Hill. Located in the East Memphis area of Memphis. They said the traffic was at a standstill following the funeral. I guess going to the burial, the interstates was at a standstill with traffic and they had police officers on at least six or seven exits where you couldn't even get off or get on the interstate. Whew. It's a whole lot of manpower, a whole lot of money that you could have saved. Sources say that Yo Gotti did speak about his brother at the funeral. And uh, they say he did break down in the middle of his speech, which I'm sure was gonna happen because 
it's just been a lot going on with this situation. For him to even get up there and talk about his brother took a lot. But to even get in that funeral, you had to be on the invite only list. So, with all the rap beef going on, you kind of got to ask yourself, was it really worth it? I'm not saying that they did anything, allegedly. I'm just saying, with everything that came after Young Dolph was killed, this how you got to move now. You know, lost a family member. You spent a couple of hundred thousand on security. It just feels like you got to move like that all the time now. Because people are never gonna stop coming for you. It's a sad situation, man. A real sad situation. I feel sorry for the city of Memphis. I wish things could have went a different way between the two rappers. But unfortunately it didn't. But anyway, this your man, Streets Wanna Know TV. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you attended the funeral or was at the funeral, please leave your comments. We'd love to hear from you.